Hey everybody, it's Joe and I'm here with my son. Hello. And we're going to be looking at some videos about 3D printing technology that people are saying is the future of 3D printing. And we're going to find out what the actual future thinks about that. This month, Filament of the Month Club members will be trying out Polymaker Polish Smooth Clear. The filament that prints like PLA but smooths with alcohol. Alright, so yes. The first printer is called 3D printing in the fact in a fraction of the time, and it was where was that Lawrence? I don't know. Uh, so no sound on this one, but check it out. They hit the light from three different directions. Now here's the thing: that resin, the liquid that they're putting in there, hardens when it gets enough light. Okay, which is very cool. That's like the first That's 3D. That's interesting. Yes, but here's the deal. They don't hit it with enough light from any one direction. So it's too weak, too weak going into side and too weak coming up from below. But where they cross, it's That's enough. It's super powered. It's super powered and it's enough to harden it. So here they are. They're hitting it in three different directions. And you can kind of see the square. Yep. And now, and then they drop it out. And boom, there's a 3D printed Whoa. part. But here's the problem. It's like blue. Yeah, it is because it's it's out of the same stuff. But so, look at look at that print. What do you think of the quality of that print? It is terrible. It is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Why do you think it's terrible? Let's rewind it back to the beginning okay. and see if you can come up with an idea of why you think Absolutely. the print turned out so terrible and what they could do to fix it. Here's a question: We were just at the pool, weren't we? Yeah. And when you jump, when you dropped yourself into the water, what happened to your body? It got cold. And. Did it hold still, or does water kind of move you around? Does liquid get moved it, around? It moves you around. Oh. So I think, I think that the print's not holding still in there, but that the liquid is causing it to move around. So the way that, how, now, if, if it's doing that, how do you think they could fix it? They could, like, find a way to keep it from not moving. Right. So um, my thought is, you just anchor it. You just anchor it to the side. And then once you have that anchor, you build it around that anchor. Now, they're they're kind of showing this as we can print it all at once. But I think if they did it like bit at a time and kind of grew it out, it just it, it, we're going back to layers. But they don't have to be layers going in the same direction. They could be layers going every direction. Now, the other downside to this technology is because they're hitting light from three directions, unless they do my idea of, of like building and uh, growing it. They're limited into shapes. Also limited in size with that small container. They figured something else out. So let's go take a look at that. Well, this one does have sound. But look at what they're doing. What? Now, 3D printing with light isn't special. We've been doing light. But this is kind of new. So they, they shine light rays into it. And this liquid, it's like the other liquid. It cures when it gets okay. light to it. But, now look at that print quality, though. What do you it, think of it's that? It's more perfect than before. Yeah, well, it can do more detail, but it's still kind of crap. But watch what happens. Okay. And the print just kind of looks like uh, Deep Space Nine. And they're calling it the replicator because we haven't already called the 3D printer the replicator. Why is it? Why the replicator, though? Because that's what they called it in Star Trek. I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking. So here's what they so here's the way it works, okay? The liquid that they've got, they they oxygenate. And what they've discovered is that when you oxygenate this stuff, it doesn't harden. However, what these guys discovered was that if you burn light into it, it burns off the oxygen. And so you burn off light here, and then you turn it a little bit and burn off light there, and turn it a little bit and burn it off, and turn it and burn off the oxygen. And, and as you keep doing slowly, slowly eventually you, yeah, it, eventually it burns Mr. off Pinker. all the oxygen in a certain area. But the quality still isn't great, and I think it's worse because they're moving the liquid, and we're back to the whole pool problem. That's true. Yeah. So, again, I think they still need to anchor it, and I think they need to maybe grow it from the inside out, but they'd have to change liquid out every time. But I still think that this is pretty cool. So what do you think of the, the possibility of this? Well, we'll I, turn it on one I more time. I think this is, like, awesome. This will be a 
great way to 3D print. It will be hard and pretty annoying, but still great. Hard how? Changing the look. Actually, we haven't we haven't really got that yet, yet. So yeah. No, one problem is this liquid is is kind of toxic. It's not okay, good. Big problem. Yeah, but but if they're keeping the liquid away from you, so that you don't ever touch it, it's not that big a deal. What if you accidentally touch it? Yeah. See, you get well. And the thing is, it's not like it's going to kill you. This stuff is actually a little bit of it won't bother you. But eventually you get enough of it and it really messes you up. So, but I still think it's a possibility. All right. Now there's one other thing that I want to show you and it's not a video, but this one I thought. So Bodston and Schwartz, I don't know. But what they've done is they've mixed, they've mixed two liquids together. And one liquid cures with one type of light and one liquid cures with another type of light. And they made it so that in one vat, you can have dual material prints. And if you accidentally touch this, will it not mess you up ever? It, it will. But again, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. But the point is, look at, look at these prints. So they've, they've taken here and they've made one print in one material and one print in another material. And the one material is, is flexible and movable. And the other material is more rigid and hard. And in fact, I wonder if you couldn't mix them together in gradients so that you could get things that are both hard and squishy in the same, like to different degrees. Like, what could you do with that? What would you think of that if you could have something 3D printed that you pulled off that's got hard parts and soft parts at the same time? That would be like pretty weird to mess with, like the next fidget toy. Sure, yeah, it would be tactile. My thought was you could make like a, a, a handle that's hard on the inside but grippy on the outside so that like when you twist it, your hand feels good, but it's got enough strength to, to turn a knob or something like that, you know? What about something like we make some VR goggles, but we make it near where it's near your eye, softer so it's squishier, but it's hard on the other side? Yes. See, that makes People sense. People have to do that with glasses. Like sometimes when I wear glasses for a long period of time, it starts to hurt. So we make we make that's well, annoying. So we make the part that goes near our heads really soft and easy, and this part that has to hold the glass nice and hard. I'm down. I'm 100% down. This is a great idea. I think there's a lot of possibilities with it. And we can already do a little bit of this with, with FDM printers, but, you know, it's, it's cool to see them working on this. So what do you think? Do you think that this is, do you think that when you're, you're showing 3D printing to your kids that you'll be doing this sort of stuff? Hopefully. Let's hope so. All right, cool. I hope so, because this will be great. Like, next clothes. Clothes of the future. Wearing clothes that are 3D printed? Ooh, I'd like that. Scan your body so that they're super Big comfy. Blades. <laughs> Before we go, check out this cool project on the What You Making channel on my Discord. Why don't you stop by and check out what other cool projects are there. And hey, if you share something you've done, maybe you'll see it in a future video too. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, if I mentioned anything in this video, you'll find a link to it in the cards and you should check that out. Did you know that I'm social? I've got links to all the socials and you should stop by and say hi. I really kind of enjoy it when that happens. Big thanks go out to my direct backers. And if you want to know more about how you can become that, there'll be a link right here that you can check out. And as always, I want to remind you safety first because I care about you and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's interesting. Classic one there.